New at 6, an unexpected delivery forces a family out into the cold. A local woman says an oil company accidentally pumped gallons of heating oil into the wrong house. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live in the SAT Center with more on the costly mistake and what you can do to stop it from happening to you. Alicia. Well, Nicole, there is certainly a lesson to be learned from this homeowner's experience. But first, I just want to show you, this is the mask that I had to wear to get into this woman's home. That is how strong the smell of oil was, despite the fact that the spill happened more than a week ago. At the height of the holiday season, this Delaware County woman says she was forced out of her home. December 23rd, um, I woke up, my two goddaughters, we were in the house, and I just woke up to fumes. I didn't know what it was. Jonelle Parker is still out of her home, living in a hotel after learning the fumes that she was smelling were from an oil spill in her basement. She says the spill was caused by an oil company. My neighbor came over and he said he saw an oil company pump oil into my house. He saw the guy pumping oil and then he glanced at my porch and noticed he was at the wrong house, ran to cut it off and then he left. Parker doesn't use oil heat. Her home just has an old oil line that inside is sawed off. So when the driver with Oil Depot realized his mistake, it was too late. Oil had already flowed into the home sawed off spout into the walls of Parker's basement. You can see in a photo of her discolored carpet, oil seeped into the flooring. An environmental company came and ripped up the carpet. There's oil in the concrete. Now I have to get it tested for possibly oil in the foundation of the house. Despite all that it will cost to repair the damage to her home, the fact that she may not be able to live here for another month, she at least hopes her experience is a lesson to all homeowners out there with old oil lines. If you, your house used to have oil in the past, if there's a pipe still on the side of your house, make sure that it's capped and cemented all the way through. And we were able to speak on the phone with a representative of Oil Depot who says the company is still looking into how this mix-up happened, but it plans on paying for all the repairs to Jonelle Parker's home. Now, the company representative also reiterated Parker's reminder that if you have a home with an old oil line that's unused, it is so much safer to have the line capped and cemented. Reporting live in the SAT Center, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Good heads up. Alicia, thank you.